Hi, this is your host Swapnil Bharatiya and welcome to TFR Insights. We recently published predictions by Vendia, which is a serverless distributed data and code sharing platform, which makes it easy to create AWS applications. The company is doing some really exciting work. So we invited Shruti Rao, co-founder of Vendia, to learn more about the company. Shruti, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you, Swapnil, for having me. Before we talk about Wendy, I would love to learn a bit more about your own background. Can you talk about yourself? Right before starting Wendy, I spent a number of years at AWS. I started off running business development for serverless at AWS. I actually met my uh, co-founder, Tim Wagner there. He was on my interview loop and we started talking about why isn't someone using serverless and blockchains together? I mean, it makes all sense, but we didn't think we would end up starting a company together on that particular thesis. But after serverless, I started the blockchain category for AWS so and launched Amazon Managed Blockchain and Quantum Ledger Database, scaled that business. And that business solidified my, my thesis on, we need something that makes it very easy to share data. Everything that exists in the market just doesn't work. So uh, <laughs> this is a interesting as well as funny question. So the, the problem that you saw in the space related to blockchain as well as serverless, why you did not spawn uh, another division within AWS? What, why you felt need to create a con company? Uh, uh, because of course, there is only so much that AWS or Amazon wanted to do. So talk about the story behind the company itself. So when I ran the uh, uh, blockchain business for AWS, I personally met 1,092 customers. These 1,092 customers had this one story that they were all saying in different ways. They were saying, Look, we have all of these partners. Our partners have implemented these data gathering mechanisms, you know, IoTs, mobile, edge, digital transformation, and they're making massive amounts of data, but they don't have access to that data in real time. These customers were also had already bought AI and ML and analytics type of tools to go through this data, except the data stuck in silos was silos was never available for them to use and make utilize for whether it's next best action or supply chain optimization, honestly, even the GDPR compliance type of use cases. So that was the problem that we're, they were looking at blockchain for. But, you know, we all know the way that traditional blockchains are architected, they just don't scale, they're very expensive. Upfront capital expense that comes with the, a blockchain implementation is untenable. So that didn't go anywhere. Customers needed to uh, needed to share data from wherever they were, whichever cloud they were, or no cloud. When you have trucking companies as partners, uh, cell phone is literally your IT. So that needed to work. That's why Tim and I uh, started Vendia. Vendia is short for Venn diagram, so bringing the data from multiple places together. So it lives harmoniously and shares well. One more question is, if you look at uh, blockchain, uh, it's uh, depending on how well people understand it, it's uh, incredible technology. A any any change that happens, in no matter whether it's transaction or you're talking about uh, land or building, any change in the documentation, whatever, or uh, like supply chain can be easily tracked with that. But we have seen that uh, blockchain's implementation deployment are mostly limited to FinTech, just the way OpenStack has kind of become a telco space. Uh, there are a lot of great promises uh, that blockchain holds. So can you talk about why is this happening or, um, or, or you will see that it will expand beyond this market and there is expansion, but we don't hear about it. Right, you know, you're absolutely right if you're talking about the traditional 1.0 type of blockchains that were made of single box deployments, only used in companies that could afford the, you know, millions of dollar price tag. It was not useful when you had many, many number of partners, limited number of partners in a financial institution, three or four partners, all of them have billions of dollars of budget for IT, then it works great. But that's not how the rest of the world looks like. So our customers are, are, are predominantly in auto sector, uh, airline and travel sector, and food and beverage sector. Our food and beverage uh, customers use Vendia for three-way match. Think of, you know, back in the day, carbon copy, when something was delivered, you needed to know there was a pink slip for one, one party, yellow slip for another, white slip for the third party. Think of this on, the, on, on, the, on a digitized setting. 
here the our customer says if one of their partners delivered on time and delivered on full and delivered within that certain temperature range for let's say meat or produce and had the right paperwork immediately release payment traditional blockchains could never do that so we don't claim that our, what vendia is made of is as traditional blockchain we are inspired by distributed ledgers and it goes through a serverless implementation but we're not traditional blockchain it's blockchain 2.0 is it more or less about uh, there is no tampering done with the document or it's more about having a different version of records I, because I, when i look at healthcare industry you know we not only talk about privacy we also talk about compliance and we also talk about you know the data should not be compromised so can you talk about the because you know the space that vendia is working is outside of the traditional space so do you also see any new or exciting use cases for blockchain for the 2.0 version as you just mentioned healthcare is a very exciting sector that we are talking to i mean you hear all of these problems of the vaccine life cycle it has to be kept at a certain temperature how do you know your vaccine was indeed kept at a certain temperature i mean you could get the vaccine it was not kept at a certain temperature and then you know what you're not really immune you don't have any immunity there so the the supply classic supply chain is one but also if you look inside a healthcare company any take any healthcare company right uh or any financial services company all of the big companies are formed by mergers acquisitions divestitures there are so many data silos so shruti in a healthcare company depending on whether i live in southern california or northern california or where else in the country i could have like 3 to 5 different entry point so this the five shrutis could exist referencing the same person i personally have had three different ids with the same provider before and it has taken me time to reconcile this so this master data management problem exists in a very big way and it hampers the usability of the data so just with an internal use case it solves pretty easily and then i'll tell you this is a small thing as a consumer that we go through and it's super easy for companies healthcare companies to solve is a particular provider in network or not how many times have you looked at three or four different data sources from the same healthcare company to find out that the same physician or same provider is in network out of the network in network again so there's no data reconciliation so all of these problems can be solved by having some kind of a master data management layer on top of vendia and that's how our healthcare uh, customers are starting to adopt vendia today and since we are talking about customers uh, even if the company you know um, is a new company but if you can talk about either customers if you can name them that is great if not that's fine uh, and if you can share some exciting use cases you know in terms of customers that that would be you know also helpful to understand more about the company this one is very near and dear to my heart you know we are we raised our seed round last june so it is relatively newer but we've had multiple multi year contracts at this point one of the reasons we raised a uh, series a round which with an inbound interest was to meet that demand of not just letting it go on the wayside but this is one of the customers is very near to my heart as a dog mom is best friends animal society is this animal welfare nonprofit company that works with 2500 partners across the across the united states look they're an animal welfare company their partners are shelters uh pounds you know veterinarians foster care parents they don't have expensive it teams to install kubernetes clusters and run blockchain nodes on top of them what they have is you know either a desktop pc or they have a cell phone that they can share data with so vendia works with all of these partners together and identifies which shelter has vacancy which shelter has overrunning with dogs which may be dogs and cats which may be need to be euthanized so helps them move the dogs effectively and also uh, solves that same multi uh, multi data management master data management that uh, healthcare companies have for the dogs because you know spot sparky and buzzer could be the same dog depending on who you ask they don't have social security numbers so that's the kind of problems they are solving so we get the dogs and cats back to the owners in time it's it's heartbreaking when you've lost a dog now 
you know that you can't find the dog back because of a data issue, that's unacceptable in the 21st century. So that's what we're solving with Best Friends Animal Society. Perfect. That was a great, uh, uh, you know, customer uh, story. Um, if I'm not wrong, this week or in month of February, uh, you got, you folks also uh, announced the 15.5 billion Series A funding and also launched Vendia Share. I'm more interested in the share, Vendia Share. Can you talk a bit about what it is and how it's helping developers' workflow? We're very excited for our developer preview. Uh, even during our AWS Lambda days, we believe that top-down motion is great, but real love that you get when you launch a technology product is from the developers, and that's who we want to reach, and then that's who we request to try uh, Vendia Share as well. What Vendia Share is, is it's a f- easy way for you to share data and code across accounts, across parties, across clouds. Eventually, right now we're on AWS uh, with no undue heavy lifting. So if you're a developer and if you've used AWS Lambda or equivalent before, think of this as Lambda with state and a data model, but for cross account and eventually cross cloud, it makes your life so much easier. So if you ever tried writing a cross region serverless application before, I have many years ago. It's taken me weeks to do it. With Vendia Share, you could do it under an hour. So if you go to vendia.net slash developers, there is tutorials, videos, quick start guides to get you started. And you said that, you know, uh, giving access to de- developers, is there any, um, you know, where they can explore, experiment with it without having to pay anything? Oh yeah, the developer preview is absolutely free. So the developers have uh, full reign to try out. This is a production grade preview. This is not something that's a, a lower quality than let's say what we offer to our enterprise customers. It's the same exact product. We just have throttles on the data. We will also be adding a pay-as-you-go mechanism just the way Lambda did in the initial days so the developers can start experimenting and then they want to use it in production, but maybe not want an entire enterprise contract. So we will have that added in in early Q2, so look up for that as well. Now, uh, you have the funding, you have the new launch. What is your roadmap? I mean, of course, there are so many things that you can share at this point, but still, if you can give me some idea about what the, what does the roadmap look like? One of the key things about our value proposition is multi-cloud. We call ourselves multi-cloud serverless distributed application platform. So we have one cloud support, AWS, and Microsoft Azure is coming soon, and GCP will be here in the uh, in the early part of the second half of the year. So this year we will be a truly multi-cloud and eventually we'll be able to support on-prem workloads as well. So that's one of the very important things of our campaign promise that we will have to fulfill. The second one is this very interesting product called Virtual Data Lake, Vendia Virtual Data Lake, we call it VDL. So when we started working with our early design partners, they said, look, sharing transactions is great. We love sharing transactions. What if we only want to share files? but we want to share files with full lineage and full control without giving up any control. So think of this, that you and I have a Dropbox account or an S3 bucket, and I want to share data with you, but I only want you to use it for, let's say, a Jupyter Notebook or for your AutoCAD, but not for downloading, but only within the US. And in Germany, let's say you can download it, you can also make copies. I also want to have full revoke, full delete capabilities. So in a sense, what we did was we took our Vendia share application platform, uh, which is completely serverless and distributed, and added a product shaping on top of it where you can share files, but with control. So the way I say this to uh, our developer community is think of S3, but for cross account, cross cloud with lineage and full fine grain control. So you can do a lot with it. And it all works with the same APIs as S3, or you could use the console and it will be as easy to use as a Dropbox account. So this is this is for uh, data engineers who spend disproportionate time gathering all of the data for their uh, AI or ML or analytics notebooks. You can do this in, you know, in a snap of a finger. That will be out uh, early Q2. So we're looking forward to that. That's another one on our roadmap. Uh, Shruti, thank you so much for talking about Vendia Share. 
Uh, and also we went beyond that and we also talk about how blockchain, you know, I, I think there is still a lot of room for blockchain to go beyond version 1.0, uh, you're already working on 2.0. Uh, and I think at one point it will be touching almost every aspect of our life because we live in a digital world. No matter what we do, it will have some kind of record keeping transaction. And so it will play a very critical role. So thanks for explaining all those things. And I look forward to talk to you again. And before we wrap, wrap this up, if you have any, any message for developers, this is your time. Thank you, uh, Swapnil. Really appreciate the time as well. Definitely, I have two messages. One, the first one is for the developers. If you want to create your cross-region serverless application, which you have probably in the past takes days, within an hour, go to vindia.net slash developers and we will walk you through it. And the second one is if you're a business user and you're thinking, this sounds cool, but that probably takes a year to get there. Uh, yes, traditional blockchains take a year to 14 months for you to even do a POC. But with Vendia, most of our customers have gotten to sign up, sign up for a multi-year contract with one week POC. So that's five business days and four hour investment from you. And then you're good to go. You will have a multi-party, multi-account uh, application with full control and fine grained lineage for your own custom use case. So all you have to do is go on to vindia.net and reach out to us through there, and then we will get you started. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.